Hi everyone, uh, preview time. It's um, Tuesday 14th of March. Looking forward to, actually gonna start on a Friday this week. A couple of events going on on Friday. That's so 17th through to Sunday the 19th of March. Um, how's your week going? Um, once again, I'm reminded of the highs and lows of athletics. Uh, one week you're flying, everything's feeling good. Um, things are going well. The next week, stinking colds, um, niggles, bad weather, whatever it might be, lack of motivation. It's ups and downs all the way through. Somehow we've just got to see it through. Same with coaches. Um, all I'd say is if you're in a in a group with other runners, um, you haven't got a responsibility, but it's good to take the responsibility of trying lifting the group and trying to keep um, people positive to see it through. Because... We all follow that old adage of consistency, patience, and keep uh, keep rocking up and it will happen. Um, but it's very difficult to stick with that if times are bad. Um, that's not a cryptic message. That's just how it is. And um, at our club at Tunbridge, we had the highs of the National Cross Country Championships where everyone's buzzing to go there. Uh, and then it's always a little bit deflated afterwards. And that's the case with all sorts of events and challenges. So... There you go, a little little message for everybody. <laughs> um, know that you know you might not be the only one going through it. Anyway, let's go to the preview. Uh, let's say start with Friday. Now, the first event is quite established. Uh, they're both in London. These two events I'm going to talk about. First event is the Battersea Under the Lights 5K around the traditional uh, 5K road race circuit around there. Um, it's got a good reputation it's got some fast races it's had over the recent years um and on friday night we've got some real good depth in there um you can see all the entries on the open track system if you actually log into open track and you go to the download section on the front page you can actually untick everything and tick entries by event and then go to you know download that and you can see list of everybody with their qualifying performance season's best personal best whatever it might be gives you a good idea who's entered so some of you may not know that but that's on the open track system anyway looking at um friday night the the depth isn't as it has been the quality perhaps isn't quite as it has been in the past uh, various reasons a lot, lot of championships been going on a lot of other events going on but um there are some really good runners in there plenty of men between 14 and 14.30 for 5k and plenty of women between 16 and 16.30 for 5k um, probably headed by the likes of on the men's side Toby Cook and Ben Alcock Ben was um, sixth in the UK into counties cross country at the weekend and Toby Cook's run under 14 minutes recently for 5k and then on the women side you've got Amy Griffiths in there Lucy Reed from Tunbridge and, and a, f a few others likely to be at the sharp end if fit and running. Um, and as I say, that, that's a relatively new event, the, the Battersea Under the Lights 5K. It's only been going the last two, three years. But um, there's a brand new event, same night in London, going on. And although there's been a bit of publicity about it, perhaps quite a few of you don't realise what's involved exactly. And it's the Podium Underground um, event. It's um, completely different in many ways from a traditional road or track or cross-country event that we're used to. Sponsored by sportsshoes.com uh, with support from Nike as well. Um, there's men's and women's competitions. It's on a go-kart track under a car park near Canary Wharf. And it's not single races. The men's race has heats, semi-final and final. Uh, there's about 15 men, and, and in the case of the women, there's 15 in each heat. The top five and five fastest losers on the men's side go through to a round two, which is a semi-final. And then the top five and two fastest losers go through to the final. The course is over like a 750 metre loop, so it's four laps. 
The men's include some good good runners actually. Joe Wigfield, Omar Ahmed, Jacob Allen, Osama Meslik, John Sanderson, Jeremy Dempsey, Zach Seddon, Lewis Jagger, Alfie Manthorpe, James Young, under 20, Sam Mills, and plenty of others. Um, the women's go through, they don't have heats, they just go straight semi-finals through to the final. You've got the likes of Neve Brinston Hubbard, Holly Archer, Beth Kidger, Megan Davis, Danny Chatterton, Holly Dixon, Eleanor Bolton, and again, plenty of others. In the women's case, it will be uh, semi-finals with the top five and two fastest losers going through to the final. Now, intriguingly, um, it's quite a twisty and turning course. So flat, though, um, but sharp bends, etc. The men's heats are between 6 and 7 o'clock, with the semi-finals at 8.30. I did question why some will get much more recovery than others. Bear in mind there's five heats, but there you go. Perhaps you can have too much recovery. Final uh, on the women's side is about 9 o'clock, and the women's at 9.15. Um, no live stream. Wi-Fi is shocking, apparently, in that area. Um, Racetimingsolutions.co.uk are where the live results will go, and that also applies to the Battersea Under the Lights 5K, so that's where you'll find your live results going up. And you may ask, why are people doing this Podium Underground event? Well, one of the reasons, apart from it being a little bit different, a bit exciting, uh, there's prize money involved, quite good prize money. £1,000 for first, 500 for second, 300 for third, 200 for what's that, fourth, and £100 for fifth. So good prize money, uh, £1,000 to the winner, not, you know, not to be sniffed at. So that's why you've got some good runners in there. So there are two events going on on Friday. The big event on Saturday is the English Schools Cross Country Championships, which are at Wallerton Park. Uh, Nottingham first race 12.30 last race at five past three um, looking at the course maps they're over the opposite side than where the national cross country has been held recently it goes back to where the old UK inter counties used to be in the past for those of you who can remember you know a decade or so ago uh, lots of information on esaa.org.uk including the the course maps and the timetable Results will be on FR Systems Live. So some, some good systems being used where, you know, quick results coming up from all these events, which is excellent to see. Um, there are other events going on. There's a tri-counties between um, Hertfordshire, Middlesex and Kent County Championships, indoor championships at Lee Valley, Saturday and Sunday. Sunday. There's road races going on. And I just picked out a couple. Uh, Mallory Park covers like a festival of running. Um, on the motor racing circuit there on Saturday, 5k, 10k and half marathon. And well-established race like the Eastley 10k goes in on on Sunday. But yeah, look out for all those. I'm intrigued. There might be some video clips of Podium Underground. Looking forward to seeing that. Um, there you go. That's my preview for the week. Hope you have a good, good few days. Cheerio.